Welcome to the video. In today's video, let's look at the all-new Create Studio 3.0. Create Studio is a desktop-based video creator software that is popular for its easy-to-use drag-and-drop interface. One thing I love about Create Studio is its versatility. Whether it's 2D or 3D animation, explainer videos, cartoons, scroll stoppers, or whiteboard animations, this software makes creating professional videos a breeze. And the best part? It's incredibly beginner-friendly and available for a one-time fee. For $1.67 one-time, you can get lifetime access to Create Studio standard version. Now, over the last few years, Create Studio has evolved significantly in terms of features and design. From the original Create Studio to Create Studio Pro, and now, with the launch of Create Studio 3.0, things are getting even more exciting. I won't delve into every single element of Create Studio in this video. For a detailed review, I'll leave a link below to one of our earlier videos where we thoroughly explored how this tool works. In this video, my focus will be on what's changed. I'll showcase the new features and updates that have been added. So, let's dive in and discover what's new. As soon as you open Create Studio 3.0, the first thing that'll catch your eye is the new interface. It's fresh and user-friendly, and I think you're going to love it. The home screen is where the magic starts. You can access a variety of templates from here. One feature I'm particularly fond of is the display of recent projects. They're right here on the center of home screen, making it easy to pick up where you left off. There's nothing here now because I haven't saved any projects yet. And then there's the lightning builder. This is a new addition that allows you to start a new project with just a few clicks. Choose your video ratio, choose the style of video, and choose your scenes. Create Studio will start downloading your scenes. If you want, you can also choose the music here. Once that's done, the editor will open up where you can start editing the video. Now for those of you who are already users of Create Studio Pro, you can open your current projects right inside Create Studio 3.0. Also, you don't have to worry about losing any of your previous work or settings. Just head over to the settings area and you can migrate all your scenes, global media files, and custom fonts from Create Studio Pro directly into Create Studio 3.0. Then there are the templates. Inside Create Studio 3.0, we have a brand new template library. Please remember that as a standard user, we won't have access to all the assets inside Create Studio. To get access to all the assets inside the software, we need to upgrade to All Access Club, which costs an additional $1.27 per month. By the way, the account you're seeing now is a standard one. Okay, getting back to the templates, you can browse through it one by one or dive into an entire category to explore. The variety is impressive, and each template is crafted to meet different creative needs. Say you find a template that catches your eye, you can adjust its ratio right there and then, which makes tailoring it to your project a breeze. Now let's log inside the editor. I'm sure you're going to love what you see. They've introduced a brand new user interface, and it's really smooth. One of the first things you'll notice is the layout. If you notice here, in the right top corner, there's this interface layer option. This includes a minimal UI layout, which I find perfect for small screens. You also have the option of just a left panel or a combination of left and right panels. And speaking of convenience, the full width timeline at the bottom is a brilliant addition. It gives me a much better view of my entire project timeline. Another aspect I really like inside Create Studio 3.0 is the adjustability of the panels. Depending on the size of my screen or the complexity of the project I'm working on, I can easily drag the right panel to make it bigger or smaller. But here's the real kicker, the improved functionality when dragging elements. 
previously, I could only drag elements onto the canvas. Now, I can place them anywhere on the timeline. This flexibility is a massive time saver. Another update I want to highlight is the Resolutions tab. It's super user-friendly. What caught my eye was the portrait resolution, perfect for mobile-focused content. And when it comes to creating videos for specific platforms like YouTube or Facebook ads, there are presets available. They've got presets for 2K, 4K, and various ad types, complete with the recommended ratios and resolutions. Now let's explore one of the coolest updates I came across in the new Create Studio, the 3D Character Creator. When I first dragged the character onto the timeline, I was amazed at how easy it was to use. Right now, there's just one character, Tom, but I've heard more are coming in the next few weeks and months. Customizing the character is really easy. The Customize tab opens up a whole new world of possibilities. I could change his clothing in a snap. The coolest part? You can add logos to his t-shirt, which is perfect for branding. The variety of customization options really got my attention. I could switch Tom's tops, choose different trousers, and even add hats and other accessories. I had fun mixing and matching different props to see what combinations I could come up with. Changing Tom's hairstyle was just a matter of a few clicks. I even experimented with different looks, from casual to funky, like adding dreadlocks. But it doesn't stop there. You can also alter the character's skin tone. Adjusting the lighting on the character and the scene added another layer of realism. Whether you are creating a night scene with ambient lighting or a bright, sunny setting, you have total control. The animation capabilities are really amazing as well. Rotating the character is straightforward, just a double click and a twist. And creating rotation animations adds so much life to the character. I had Tom spinning around just to test it out, and it looked incredibly smooth. Then, there is the new AI text-to-speech engine. I believe you need to buy credits to use this feature. I particularly enjoyed trying out previews of different accents. The control over speech stability is a neat feature, especially for fine-tuning the voice to avoid any robotic sound. Another new feature added is the lip syncs feature. It's as simple as dragging and dropping the voiceover onto the timeline and aligning it with the character. Right-clicking on the voiceover and selecting sync option made his mouth move in perfect harmony with the speech. I believe it's really a big step forward for Create Studio. Then, there are some other updates such as the ability to adjust track height, automatic compaction of tracks, etc., which will come really handy. Adding and managing scenes is also more efficient in the new Create Studio. Instead of cluttering up the timeline, newly added scenes appear in a widget allowing for easy placement wherever needed on the timeline. This streamlined process significantly enhances workflow efficiency. And that's it for the video. As you just saw, these updates bring a whole new level of ease and flexibility to your creative process. You can check out Create Studio 3.0 from the link in the description below. You can get it for a one-time payment of $67. If you already have access to Create Studio, download the latest version for free. All the links are in the description. I hope you liked this video. I will see you in the next one.